What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another unboxing. Another diecast unboxing. In the back of West Coast Superstars. A mashup of different West Coast legends. They all came together. Produced this nice little song. Positive song. Trying to influence the young youth. Uh, I like the positive message on that. Uh, as much artist, MWA, uh, MC Hammer, you got Digital Underground, Ice T, uh, you got Tuto, yeah, a lot of artists, some which I'm not familiar with, which I do need to touch up on my uh, my music with. But this is, uh, I just love it, I just love that song. Today's uh, CD album. Feature is one of my favorites. This is another than Easy E. This is uh, eight, this is it's on Dr. Dre 18 Killer. Love, love this song. I mean, this uh, album right here is classic. This is what he used to uh, backfire on Dr. Dre on him uh, leaving. NWA and uh, this is kind of a little disc record. This was uh, aimed towards Death Bro. That's the inside of it. That's a little picture of what Dr. Dre used to wear. One of his first shits. Uh, I like the whiteness of it. It looks nice. It's badass. My favorite song in here will probably be real. Motherfucking G's. The the uncensored version will be real Captain G's. I uh, love this song. Uh, my second favorite out of all here will probably be it's on. Give me that next. It's good too. All these songs are classics. I love them. Uh, it won't be alike. Uh, Sucks that he died early too. He could have done so much. Hip hop is not the same without him. Uh, today, I got a little package, something a little rare, something you don't see for sale that often, something that if you do find it, it's usually on the higher range, but for me, luckily for me, I was able to, the guy started off as a bid, or uh, best uh, best offer, and I was like, hey, this is what I got to do, you know, I don't want to, you know, wait through the whole deal of, you know, bidding, and then someone actually trying to bid me for it. Uh, I, you know, I just wanted to get that through, so I, I gave him a, a bid number, I think I put 45, I'll take it, it was like 45, uh, no, 44, and he's like 46, and I was like, meet me halfway, 45, and you know, he said deal, and I got this for, for 45, you know, it's in great condition, you know, just during shipping that when he shipped it. Don't know from where I he broke the the wing, one of the side mirrors fell off, but nothing it can be fixed. The condition is you know, flawless. I hope so, uh, but we'll see. Usually these go for I'm gonna assume since it's harder to find, at least 80, 80 to 120 range. The condition on this was pretty good. The box was a little. I thought you can see that little bit. I don't know if that's because of the, uh, the box you put it in or was like that already or, or was it because the U, it wasn't UPS. It was, uh, it was a brown truck. It was UPS. Same game. You got a little paper here. So that's empty. I'm glad to have this in my collection. This is something you don't see for sale that often. You can find the scissors. Where are the dancers? Oh, there I am. Because it's all wrapped. A nice little bubble wrap and uh, it's tape everywhere, so you know, you gotta have that. I guess you want that's a good choice he made. I don't want to 
I want to be careful here because this is, you know, item that's rare, hard to find. Um, so many cars that I still need in 118 form from Data Toys, which I will get, you know, but I'm going to put them aside because they're usually for sale most of the time. I usually try to go get the, you know, when it comes to items that you're hard to see and they appear. I always tend to go for them, you know. Depending on the price, like this one wasn't too bad, 45 for an item that goes almost like 80 to 120 range. The only reason why it was cheap was because of the whole meter situation and the whole wing situation, which can either be replaced or I can uh, glue back together. No, you know, no big problem. <sighs> Come on, so many. I'm having issues trying to. Trying to open this, man. This is Red Brand and uh, who's this? I know the group that I'm not. Lords of Dunground, I'm not very really familiar with them. I'm kind of starting to get more into them. I love Red Man. I love his style. Come on. This is like the hardest thing I've had to done in a while. Just open this damn package, man. There we go. This is gonna be a me video of me struggling trying to open this damn thing. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Hopefully he put in the the spoiler. He said he was gonna try to look for the the mirror. What is this? Oh, it's part of the part of piece of the spoiler, but there is no spoiler. Let's put it. There is no spoiler. What the? In the picture, so he, he had the, the spoiler on the picture, but unless it's down here. Nope. No spoiler in this box. Which fucking sucks. Oh no! <laughs> like dumbass. It's inside the car. Uh, Okay, let's see. Condition is not bad. There is some few pieces of dirt on it. But that's usual when you don't have items that you store away in certain places. This is it. This is the item. It's amazing, amazing. I do not have any of the eclipses in 118 scale. There's two others. And, uh... They're more of the, you know, the typical ones you find, and for cheap too, I just never, you know, it's, man, it's, they're not bad looking, it's just that, you know, it's, you know, you're common to find them, so, you know, at the bottom of my list, I'm trying to get right now more of the, you know, harder to find, more unique items, like this one right here, uh, I've only seen a few, one collector that has it that I know of, he's a real big collector, he has most of the, you know, the harder to find items. He's the one that told me about this a long time ago, and uh, until I found it, I love having items like this. That items that most people don't have. This is the auto 
Sindelingen's edition, I guess. That's the back. Very rare detail. I do love that sticker right there. I did not notice that. So that's the back part of it. What is a plate read? Suzuka. Suzuka. I don't know what that means. If you guys know what that means, let me know down below. That's what they about, like about the Eclipse. The whole back opens like that. Very, very detailed, man. I'm going to have fun cleaning this. There is the... I don't know you can see that. The inside's all red. Matching. I don't think he found the... Yeah, I don't think he found the, the missing mirror. As it's clearly not in here. It's not bad. I can always just get, you know, one of the... The side mirrors from one of the other ones, the, uh, the eclipses, and I can just re-glue it and repaint it. Check out the front part. I don't think we've seen the front part yet. I do love the carbon hood. Most of these 118 scales would come with extra tires, I mean, set of rims, and, uh, and a set of... Uh, Hood. So since the carbon hood, I don't know if this one has painted hood, but I love the carbon on it. The rims, there's the rims right there, close up. So it's kind of cool. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little mini unboxing. This is, uh, like I'm saying, this is a hard to find, one of a kind. It's not one of a kind, but it's you know, one of the items that takes a while to find. Of all my years of collecting on eBay. I've never seen this there. There's like three items that I have that I've never seen. I have two items that I'm pretty sure you're not going to see there because, you know, they're prototypes. Uh, I believe I've showcased them in my videos before. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little showcase unboxing of this rare Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, eclipse. And uh, more coming. More coming. Peace. Yeah, yeah.